On the breakfast, President Mohamed Buhari unveils a new NNPC as a commercial venture with a new logo and identity. What does this mean for the Nigerian petroleum sector and Nigerians? Also on the breakfast, Minister of Education Malem Adamu Adamu has given two weeks to resolve the ongoing strike by the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, and all the university-based unions. Don't forget, we'll also be looking through today's newspaper and analyzing the biggest stories of the day. And welcome to The Breakfast in Plus TV Africa. I am Messi Boko. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning, 20th day in the month of July. As always, we start our conversation with what's making the rounds in different paths uh, and different spaces in Nigeria and maybe outside of Nigeria. This morning, Vice President Yemi Osibandro making steady progress after surgery. And that's a uh, you know, that's the report. And it's a good one, if you ask me. And that's because prior to this time, the Vice President, Professor Oshibajo, uh, has been on admission because we had his special, uh, or his aide, Laulua Konde, who actually disclosed that in a statement. And the, the pro Vice President as well talked about the fact that uh, he's been scheduled for a surgery procedure due to some pains that's been very persistent and... Uh, the vice president needed to, you know, seek medical help. Of course, over time, according to the statement that was put out prior to now, is that he probably sustained the injury while he was playing squash. Well, it was also stated that there will be an update as regards the health and, uh, you know, the health status of the vice president. And that has, you know, been put out because on the 16th of July, the vice president had a successful surgery on his thigh bone at the Dutchess International Hospital right here in Lagos. And that's what's, you know, very outstanding in all of this. You know what it is that we talk about, uh, the fact that uh, the elites, those who are in the ruling class who constantly patronize hospitals outside of Nigeria. But the vice president uh, has been treated, or has been treated here in Lagos as we speak. It's probably, you know, a private hospital, or however you look at it. I mean, it's not better than, you know, jetting out of the country and seeking for medical help. Most importantly is the fact that he's responding to treatment, according to his doctors, has been very uh, compliant, has been listening to all of the instructions, and he's getting better. All we can do is wish the, pro the vice president well and wish him a speedy recovery. And that's that on our top trending. We move away from that one. Very interesting also is uh, a performance of an artist that has a place in my heart. So a lot of people would say, oh my, you're fans of Ban Bonaboy, you know, Whiskey, David O and what have you. But Asha would always have a place in my heart because she does music like no other with a very great and fantastic voice. I just like how she does music without any kind of struggle. Yesterday was the unveiling of the NMPC. And of course, Asher was an artist that performed. We understand all of the criticism that comes with every artist that has to perform at an, at an event. And you know, usually Nigerians will say, hey, you, you have to go perform. You know, you know, why are you going there? These politicians are calling you. But uh, Nigerians reacted differently at this time. For the first time, there's a different reaction because Asher performed the particular song that was released in 2007. Fire on the mountain. We take a quick look at this one, and when we return, we, we check out all of the reactions. One day the river will overflow, and there'll be nowhere for us to go, and we will run, run, wishing we had pulled out the fire. Oh, there is fire on the mountain. Hey, Lord, I know nobody seems to be on the run. Oh, 
that's the song Fire on the Mountain by Asher. I told you that song was released in 2007. And, you know, the song already originally talks about ills of the society and all of the things that are going on in, in different parts of the world and the fact that we pay no attention and no one cares because at the end of the day, you know, society is setting itself, you know, to self-destruct. So um, let's quickly see if we can look at the reactions. Nigerians, for the first time, reacted differently when you have an artist performing in an event, you know, where you have a highly placed person, the ruling class, and Asher was here. Now, uh, I'll I quickly read some of the tweets here. And this one says, Asher dropped a bomb at the NNPC summit and walked without being arrested. Uh, by singing fire on the mountain before president. She did not abuse anyone. She didn't criticize anyone. She spoke directly to their conscience with a song, Legendary Doings. Uh, that's what you find. Another one says it. That is the lyrics. Uh, the blood of innocent children at NSAS, bandits killing in the north or war massacre. The kind of people who wants to build on the same legacy. There's fire in the mountain and all is happening uh, in the lyrics didn't even greet anyone. And you also have Macaroni, who's also very, very popular, uh, you know, has been very vocal with things going on in Nigeria. He said, one day the rivers will overflow and there will be nowhere for us to go and we will run, run, wishing we had put out the fire. And Nof said, thank you so much, Legend Asher. Uh, tweeted, you know. Uh, another one talks about Asha was invited to sing at the NMPC relaunch with Buhari in attendance. Guess the song she chose to sing? That's Fire on the Mountain and no one can convince me this was not on purpose. I saw what you did there, our lovely sister, and God bless you for passing the message. Asha sang her hit song, uh, Fire on the Mountain, and listening to the pleasure of, or to the listening pleasure <laughs> of President Muhammad Buhari during the unveiling of the NMPC in Abuja. The song reflects the current situation of the country. I mean, the reaction is almost endless. It, it continues, but like I rightly mentioned prior to this time, she had, th that's the essence of that song. The song talks about the ills in the society, uh, you know, a society at the end of the day that would be destroyed by itself because no one cares about it. It's a difficult time to keep us caring about societal ills, but because we seem not to pay attention. And, and it's true. And so, yes, but did the message get to the people? Did they get it? Because it's another thing to hear something. It's another thing to act on it. But however, the message has been passed. It's all dependent on the people who listen to the message to act on it. And that's it on Asher this morning, but we quickly move away. Another one is the uh, RCCG, that's the Redeemed Christian Church of God, saying, hey, uh, the general overseer at Deboye's meeting with Tunubu has nothing to do with an endorsement. And you understand how it is in Nigeria. Every order time that you have an election on election year, you have all of these politicians. I mean, those who are seeking political office would go to him. But the, uh, you know, the, the, General Overseer, the founder of the church, had mentioned that he's not going to be very discriminatory or he's not going to be discriminatory against anyone who comes to him and seek him for prayers because he would definitely pray. And that there's been a lot of, you know, back and forth right now that he feels like you have a presence of a uh, former legal state governor. Some people are saying, oh, it probably would mean that this is a reflection of his interest. And you know that he's very influential and it could mean a lot. So there's been a lot of... Uh, um, back and forth an argument, but it's a disclaimer that's been put. And he said it again, he will not be, um, he will pray for anyone that comes to him and seek counsel, but that does not really translate into endorsing anyone or having anyone being part of the system. Well, that's it this morning on a Top Trending. We'll take a quick break. When we return, it'll be time for us to look at the front pages of our national dailies. Please stay with us.